और कैसे हो भाई लोगों यहाँ पे भारत एक्टिविशन ने सत्या नाश कर दिया लेडीज एंड जेंटमेन कमिंग आई यू विद एन इमरजेंसी वीडियो बिकॉज एवरीबडी इज मैड राइट नाउ एवरीबडी इज रियली रियली पैशनेट इन टर्म्स ऑफ टॉक अबाउट कॉल ऑफ ड्यूटी बिकॉज एक्टिविशन जस्ट मेस्टेड अप वंस अगेन Apparently, a lot of people—I mean, a ton of people in the Call of Duty community that paid seventy dollars for this game—are the ones QA testing this game. Yeah. We have this video that I'm gonna go into, guys. You do not have to like, you do not have to subscribe unless you want to, and roll this one. One day this removed out. from quite possibly the worst update in COD history. Like everything broke, nothing was working. It really made Activision Blizzard look bad. Made Microsoft look bad for purchasing yeah. them, and it really just goes. Man, this is absolutely sad. That as soon as yeah. Microsoft purchase Call of Duty started to go down e hill even more. It's not that Call of Duty was in a best position when they bought it, but it's like dog. They paid seventy billion dollars at least deliver a good damn product, man. Show like where was the QA? Where was the quality assurance? Do you not pay your testers? Like do you not test out updates before you put them out? I have Call of Duty players are the one QA testing the game, but. Instead of getting money in return, they're the one paying seventy dollars. No idea, but one day later they fixed a lot of the issues that we had okay. yesterday. Of course, ranked play is now working. If you guys want to check it out, people are definitely seeming to enjoy that. But then we got this statement here from Raven Software, which I really want to take a look at because it kind of just tries to discredit everything about them not testing out things properly. But at the same time, it doesn't. It's it's a really weird update. So let's just go ahead and check that out. Yeah. But you want a lot of the Call of Duty refugees and a lot of the Call of Duty beta testers, QA tester, a lot of them like. <laughs> <laughs> See, they they just apologize, man. See, they apologize. They're listening to the fans, man. They haven't even talked about skill based matching, bro. They said that they're gonna talk about it. And a year, and even even I believe during Modern Warfare 2022, they did say that they're gonna talk about lobby disbanding and they're gonna do some about it. They didn't do anything about it. They said it again for Modern Warfare 3 didn't do anything about it and almost two months ago they did say they're going to talk about skill based matchmaking and uh, never talked about it to address the issues that players encounter during the season one reloaded launch period we've been laying the groundwork for the return of some fan favorite features in upcoming seasons which has required a degree of preemptive setup in our live environment yesterday's update shipped with some of that work and we unfortunately encountered a conflict between live player data and our servers our oh. team were made immediately aware of the issues and began investigating shortly after after the update went live we rallied studio i mean thank god you started i mean thank god right multi-billion dollar company multi-billion dollar company thank god the teams it. from across the world to get these issues resolved as swiftly as possible we as devs love Wait this game it? and apologize for the disruption that resulted from these events please know that we i gotta call bull squash on this one man stop the, stop cap. the cap one if you think that's cap two if you think that's facts i, I would like to believe some of these devs actually love uh, to make those uh a a I'm pretty sure some of the devs loved, or a lot of these devs love to make those friendly UAVs online, but not real, like jokes aside, obviously, we, this is a YouTube video, but jokes aside, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of the devs love the game they work on, right? Bruh. As cap as it might sound, I don't want to believe it, I'm hesitating as you can tell, but I'm pretty sure some of the devs do love the game, but it's just that, bro, like, what the hell is happening with this franchise? And guys, you're not, you are not Batman, you're just a stud muffin, it's not your job to save Call of Duty, man, you are the consumer, you're the gamer, you're the player, you're a stud muffin, you, the, if you question, they will call you and label you a toxic gamer, right? Bruh. It's, you're not Batman, it's not your job, it's not my job to save Call of Duty, it's a multi billion Billion dollar company why you're paying them seventy dollars because you you want a product that they claimed and advertised in a way and they have said that it's gonna work when you buy it's gonna solve all your problems you're gonna get that dopamine but in return they have algorithms in place that will once you play five games they will know the size of your dog Bruh. You know what I mean? They, they they will know whether you have a BBC or BWC or LBC, L, 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 LWC. It, it's crazy, bro. This hold ourselves to a high standard, and yesterday's issues did not align with that. With that said, we're also very excited for what's ahead and look forward to bringing the best we can do. And then they kind of follow that up here by teasing that Specialist is going to be coming back to Warzone, as well as this is a tease for Rebirth Island. Now, I do believe they said in the past that Rebirth Island and Fortune's Keep are going to be coming to Warzone, okay. but I think Fortune 
Fortune's Keep is coming first, and then Rebirth Island after that. As of right now, we don't have official release dates, I don't believe, but regardless, they're teasing that Specialist is going to be coming back. We already knew that Rebirth Island and Fortune's Keep were going to be coming back, but going back yeah. to what they were saying right here, it seems like the stuff they were working on for the future was in the live game yesterday, which caused a bunch of conflict, which made uh -huh. so the update didn't work, which made so everything was pretty much broken. That yeah. still begs the question, did you not see that when you were testing things internally? They said there's ah, a- wrong. Yeah, You know what? They, like I said, bro, they don't test the game. They have you testing the game, Nero Shenima. They have you, if they have YouTubers, like think about it for a second, right? When they have YouTubers, testing the game, playing the games, giving light feedback, getting mad, giving light feedback. Why pay the QA testers? Why hire people testing the game? And I remember, this is absolutely crazy. I'm not sure how many of you guys have been around the channel for this long or how many of you actually played Black Ops 4 in its prime and followed its leaks because during the leak season, we did hear that there were QA testers at Activision testing Black Ops 4 and they were treated so poorly that some of them were working overnights and overtime in, in like hot summer in California, right? And the temperature would go above hundreds uh hundred i uh, wasn't fahrenheit or celsius probably not celsius probably fahrenheit yeah. right it would go 100 and they would not let the qa testers turn on air conditioning oh, shit. yeah we have leaks about it even if it's a rumor yeah. we believe it because at the end of the day we're talking about activision here bro these sons of female dogs they brad they don't care they don't even care all they care about is this friendly uav online the bbc bundle selling you 20 dollars 30 dollars 50 dollars bundles that's all what they care about. They don't care about players' feedback. The, the, we know that. You know that, right? Because this is something they were like, we we listening to the fans' feedback. Give us your give us your feedback. They said that during Modern Warfare 2022, Bruh. and then they did a 180, <laughs> turned around, and they said that guys, uh, we cannot listen to the feedback. Uh, uh sorry. And and they just moved on. They just pieced out. That's like Infinity Tard. Fast forward to now with Sledgehammer My Balls. Sledgehammer My Balls. Credit where it's due, they love listening to the feedback. At least that's what they claim, and they, they have done some changes. Even though I did not buy the game, I look at the gameplay, I'm like, yeah, there are some changes that the community asked for, and it's there. But it, 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 yeah, this was something that we had 10 years ago. All of the changes, like, look at this mini map, right? Wow, this mini map. It's finally working. It used to always work. We had the minimap all the way back in 2008. And then Infinity Tart, they removed the minimap, tried to fix what was not broke. People complained. People cried. People <laughs> went crazy. <laughs> they gave them their feedback. And in return, what they say, you are toxic gamers. What they say, you are not important to society. What they say, well, you should just stop playing our game. Oh and when people, because we're hearing that Modern Warfare 3 numbers aren't as strong as previous Call of Duty games, and when people stop playing, then they're like, we're gonna talk about skill-based mastering, and then they peace out from that, just like the homie Blame Truth. Homie, the homie Blame Truth, nowhere to be found, though. There's a conflict between live player yeah. data and their servers, but you would think that by now, when it comes to pushing out an update for a video game that has been out and pushing out updates since 2007, you think it would be pretty simple for them to figure that out. I genuinely don't believe they tested these things out really whatsoever. They're kind of saying the opposite, but regardless, it doesn't matter. The update got fixed. Things are now working, but still, it was embarrassing how yeah. bad that update- They have hundreds of thousands of QA testers, and that is you guys. You know what I mean? Like, that is, that is you guys. <laughs> It was yesterday, and now, again, they're kind of That's full damage us, control man. right now, trying to save as much face as possible, but it's like I said in yesterday's video, man, like, Call of Duty is so big, and it's been going on for so long that we've had every controversy that you can possibly have for yeah. a video game franchise, yeah. you know? This is not the first time. I'm Bro, like, that California lawsuit, them installing cameras in public bathrooms that we heard, actually true, this, I'm not even, this is not even rumors, I'm not even making this up. They were also, some of the Activision employees were stealing baby milk, you know, like, chicks would be in lactation room, they would put milk in, in a bottle to feed their kids. This is something that, you know, women have been doing for thousands and thousands of years. This is how the mafia works, guys. This is how yeah. this planet works, okay? This is how kids grow up to be adults, okay? They need the milk! This is how it yeah. works, alright? So this has been going on since the the day mankind was born or mankind was put on the face of the planet 
But Activision, some of their employees were stealing that baby milk as well. Uh, I, 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 I cannot believe it, bro. So that happened. You know, a, a, a female employee actually took her own life, which was absolutely terrible. So they had that. They sold like $1 radical as well in Black Ops for $20 bundles, uh, $30. Uh, friendly UAV online. They are also selling friendly UAVs online, battle passes, loot boxes. Man, they have been. <laughs> They have been under a lot of controversy. Also having Infinite Warfare, fans going crazy. Then you bundle, you're like, okay, you know what? Let's bundle Modern Warfare Remaster with it. They have been through it all, bro. They have been through all of it, man. A massive update went through and basically broke everything. We've seen it before. We're going to see it again. And the crazy part is a couple days from now, everybody's going to forget that Season 1 Reloaded facts, was so broken facts. the day it came out. And we're just going to move on to the next thing. because when And once Call of Duty 2024 gets revealed, everybody's going to forget Call of Duty 2023 as well. I hope 2024 is good because otherwise, if Call of Duty... Because right now, I know Sony ponies are going off at Phil. I play on PlayStation. I don't have Xbox. But even then, I'll just keep... Guys, hand on top of this ball of bottle of water okay i'll keep it real with you i'll tell you the truth i know xbox get offended as well guys come on man xbox sony ponies y'all gotta stop let's make a temporary truce together okay let me send you some kisses no homo no homo okay first of all no homo but also like it's not microsoft's fault if call of duty 2024 turns out to be bad then i would be like it's theirs fault right it, 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 you know you know what i mean and if call of duty 2025 <laughs> bruh yeah, we're gonna get Call of Duty 2025 as well. If Call of Duty 2025 turns out to be bad, then I will 100% blame Microsoft for that because that, at that point, you know, it would be under their management, uh, right? It already is right now, but but you know what I mean, right? It's Call of Duty 2023 was in development for way before they st uh, stepped in and bought the company. It comes it's to COD, there's always right something now. new that's going to be happening next week or the next day or something's going to end up happening to get the community focused on. And then suddenly the previous controversies kind of just go away. The only thing that yeah. really sticks around anymore is skill based matchmaking. But also, yeah. where's that statement oh, at? We're now uh -oh. in season one reloaded. Uh -oh. They told us that with season one that we were going to be getting that statement from them regarding skill based matchmaking. They're going to be talking I, I think they forgot. about with the community and make it part of their ongoing dialogue with the community. They said in the coming weeks, after season one well we're in season one reloaded at this point man we're getting closer to season two i'm not sure it's ever gonna happen guys i'm really not sure it's ever gonna happen but regardless it's gonna happen for call of duty 2024 or at least they're gonna say we're gonna talk about skill based matchmaking now for call of duty 2024 they're gonna say that right before the game comes out and when the game comes out they're gonna forget about it they're gonna be like bruh you know what I'm saying? We, we, you know, we, we, we're gonna talk about it <laughs> in, in Call of Duty 2025. And another... I got this question, right? Because this is something that I asked in the last video. I'm gonna ask you differently because I've read your comments. And a lot of you guys... or uh, A lot of you guys were saying almost the same thing in a way. But there was one guy that actually pointed this out to me. That said that Microsoft is a software company. It's they love ai they're they bought activision not for call of duty but they bought it because they have really good algorithm uh, i'm i'm not sure whether that's true or not but hey man that was very very intriguing do you really think they bought activision for their world's best algorithm or or what because they really do have a good algorithm and i'm talking about umm sbmm god knows what else they got in their patterns they also talk about detecting your sweat your facial recognition oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, obviously those stuff are not in the game yet but though they are on the pattern which means that eventually they might think about having that they're just securing their ground they're just making sure they have put their foot on the ground and whenever they decide to they surely can uh do something like that but algorithm is a crazy thought to say the least right because they have skill based mastering and they also have algorithm in place where if you play good they will actively nerf your weapon stats. Oh shit! Oh, in game, dead ass though. It was mentioned in the pattern, and that's something that I believe it because, guys, listen. How many times you, okay, once, once or twice, three times even, understandable can be a glitch or maybe placebo or you were having a bad day, bad connection, bad ping, whatever. But it happens all the damn time. It's like you're shooting the guy accurately five times, doesn't die. You have full health, but he shoots back and then bumbleclad. You are in <laughs> in Call of Duty Heaven and you die with two shots, right? Meanwhile, you put in five shots and once, twice, like I said, understandable, but it happens all the time. 
That's Modern no Warfare 3 has guns. been pretty much fixed for the most part. All the things that were broken yesterday for the most part have been fixed. And as such, I'm actually able to try out the new maps, try out the new game modes, and lock the new guns. So I'm going through that process right now. So I'd like to know what you guys think about Season 1 Reloaded now that it's actually working uh, down there in the comments. I'm gonna... Uh, I don't have the game, bro. Go ahead and just kind of wrap the video up with this. This souped up game mode can be really fun, but... It's guys, click on this video on the screen because I swear to God, this just happened and you're not gonna believe believe it okay a lot of people are mad right now click on it and i will see you right there